Alrighty, uh, what's going on YouTube? I'm recording the wrong monitor, and that's fun. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, anyways, um, I, I'm doing real well today, aren't I? Um, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another episode in the FPS series, um, and, <laughs> excuse me, I still have a slight cough, um, getting better though. So that's a that's a good thing, but I'm um, not feeling as bad. I've been going back to school and stuff. So yeah, but let's get into the episode, which today I would like to cover doing a shield and having the shield take uh, damage priority over the health. Now uh, we will have a shield HUD, and um, of course, it when we walk into our flame. If we have any of our shield left, it will take that out before it actually takes out any of our health. Uh, now, I'm sure if you wanted to have something a bit more complex, like, um, you know, I want it to still leave their shield and just straight up just penetrate the shield and damage, that would be a nice thing. Or you could go the all-out route and make it so that it's so powerful it cuts straight through their shield and straight to the damage of, uh, of the health. Um, so it pretty much what it is is just another layer of health bar. Um, so the way we're going to make this is like we would make a health bar because that's technically what a shield is. Um, once again, uh, a lot of stuff, uh, right now I'm just trying to find um, my HUD, um, a lot of stuff in games is based off of perception you know you just because they tell you that it's a health bar um, and that's it it's a shield bar that's all you're gonna you know recognize it as and because they tell you that it has a hundred hit points did not mean to do that just because your health has 100 hit points and your shield isn't really uh, anything different then you'll think the shield is just some random amount of health and uh, you may assume it to be um, the same amount you know you may assume it to be just a hundred hit points and um, but you you once again you think they're two completely different things because oh one's a shield and one is a health bar well, really, to be honest, it's set up the exact same way. You still have a bar with just some color filled into it, with the percentage running or running through it uh, based off of a value from the player. Um, and so I'm going to change this anchor. It's not going. It'll be fine. Um, okay, I just want to change the color real quick to blue. I'm going with stereotypical health and shield colors. I know, I know. It's terrible. Um, okay, so. Oh, you know what? This is just an old AI that I was working on, tried to make, and it is not relevant, so I'm going to delete it. Um, okay. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, so now let's hook it up. Um, so like I was saying, we're going to set it pretty much the exact same way. Actually, we need to set it up so that way it's workable for our character. Um, uh, but it, we're going to set it up the exact same way, except everything's just going to be named Shield. There's nothing different. The only different part that is going to be uh, the only part that is going to be different, I should say. Excuse me. Is that? Ugh, sorry, little burps. I doubt you could hear those, but in case you could, excuse me. Um, the only part that's going to be different about the shield is once again, it's going to prioritize to take down the shield's percentage uh, before it takes down the actual health bar. So um, let's create a new variable, not not a macro. 
Um, I have never actually used a macro. Maybe I should uh, look into that and see how useful they are. Um, maybe you could make my... Did I just duplicate? Wow, I can read, can I? Yeah, I can totally read. Okay. So yeah, new variable, not macro, and uh, call it current underscore shield. Did I spell it right? I don't know. I never spell... I, I most of the time don't spell shield right, so I'm trying to train myself to spell shield properly. Um, of course, it's going to be a float, and uh, we'll do the current at something, so that way we can still tell it's um, workable, but is not the same as the one in the HUD. Um, and I actually usually do that, because what's this at? It? Yeah, 75, so we'll just... Uh, anyways, never mind. Um, so the bind is going to be the pretty much the same thing as the get health bar percent. So what I'm actually going to do is get health bar percent. Hold on. I do want to rename this, of course, to um, shield bar. Um, that is a variable, and we'll bind that to something here in a second. So I want to duplicate that and we're going to call it geez shield bar percent now we're going to it's obviously it's already open and we're just going to change one variable and that is the one that we're getting from cast eroded this is just a demonstration to show how similar how how little differences there really are the only difference right now is the name. That is the only difference, the name and the color. I mean, it it works the exact same way. You're not it's not any more complex and sometimes that's what stops people from saying, "Oh, well, I'm going to I'm going to, you know, hold off on trying to learn that or, you know, I probably won't add that system into my game because I think it'll just be too difficult. You know, I'm going to have to learn something all over. And it's like, no, not really. You've already done it before. You just need to name it something else. Um, you know, um, I was uh, talking to uh, someone uh, or one of my uh, coworkers about doing a camera change. And uh, he's on a different end of blueprint coding than I am. Uh, he doesn't really mess with camera stuff as much as I have before um, that is in blueprints and so <laughs> it was we were talking about camera change in our views and he's like well let's let's hold off on camera change I'm like no really it's actually not that different you're, you're just changing something it's not as difficult as you may think so you know uh, never never underestimate how difficult something may really be in Unreal Engine anyways Let's uh let's go add to the let's see we got that set got that set so actually let's just check it out yes we are not set to fifty percent because we're gonna bind it I'm smart so we'll go back to your designer go to bind and use the shield bar percent compile and yes we're at fifty percent <coughs> oh man. That is a nice little cough there. Anyways, mm, sorry for that. Anyways, now we need to set up the system of taking damage first from the shield, uh, then from our health. So um, right now, what we have is uh, is is a, a very um. What's the what do what I want to say? It's a very limited damage system. Right now we have to set up damage on. I need to edit fire. I don't know what I'm doing. We have to set up the damage on everything uh, individually, which isn't bad if you're making an indie game or if you're making something very simplistic, where it's not you know you don't have too many functions or or um, systems uh, coinciding with each other and crisscrossing and 
you know, crossing each other's paths, if you will, on a constant basis. But in an FPS or in an RPG, you will have that. So you need something very universal, very templated, where if it works with this thing, I can just import it into the other thing that I just made, and it will work this just as well. Well, we don't have that right now. Right now, we have what you would use for like an indie game or something small, where you this is the only uh, this is the only thing in the game that can damage you. So we don't need to make a complex system or any system at all. You just you just throw it in there, say, hey, take off health because this is the only thing in the game right now that can actually hurt us. Well. This is an FPS, and there's going to be several different things that can hurt us. You know, walking into a fire, getting hit by a car, which that's a different velocity thing. That's a different story. But, you know, um, getting getting shot, uh, melee attacks, grenades. There's many different things that can damage, and it needs to be properly controlled. So we have to set up a proper damage system, which uh, I will have to do in uh, another video so that way because that's that's a whole another video on its own but right now uh, what we're going to do with the fire and this is just a demonstration is we're going to uh, we're going to do a little check here so we're going to compare a float so if our Shield. If our shield, we're going to compare it with zero. If it is less than or equal to zero, I'm going to break this. If it is less than or equal to zero, we of course are going to go straight. Well, it shouldn't be less than, but you know, sometimes stuff happens and in for some reason the shield goes less than you know weird coding errors and skype that's nice anyways i'm gonna ignore that <laughs> i should actually really set my skype setting to do not disturb there we go okay um so um that's what it's going to do of course if our shield is non-existent if it is existent if there is a variable there then we are going to set the Oh, I need to. Psh, duh, duh. Set the current shield to um, do the same thing. Minus, maybe let's say uh, let's say we want this to hurt the health uh, way more than we want it to hurt the shield. So it's gonna hurt the shield. Uh, one unit, and it's gonna hurt our health ten units. So, obviously, let's let's set this up for a good example. So, let's give our shield one unit, and let's give us. We've already got twenty five, so we are good to go. Um, just for kicks, let's give ourselves fifty health. Anyways. So what this should break down to is if we walk in, it's going to say, okay, how much shield do you have? You have no shield, we're going to immediately hurt your health with 10, 10 points of damage. Well, you do have shield, okay, well, we're just going to hurt your shield, but it's really strong, so it's only going to hurt your shield one point of damage. Of course, uh, a fleshed out health and damage system uh, this can be way more customized and templated and um, streamlined way way more better than this once again another video another time but let's try it out so let's hop into a game as you can see uh, it's covered up by no ammo so let's just grab a gun reload it so that way that stupid message disappears <coughs> Um, is it not going to disappear? That's right, because I have to pick up the other gun and reload it. And are you happy now? Yes. So is, if you can, you may not be able to see it, um, but it's, it's oh gosh, it is very, very small sliver right, right there, right there, that tiny little sliver, and uh, that's our shield. That's our one point of shield. And then of course we have 50 health, so it's going. We're gonna walk through, and our shield's gone. But what happens now if when our shield's gone, 
takes off 10 points, so it's we're really chunking away at our health. And no health. Now, of course, we don't have a death system, so it can't register. Oh, well, he's got zero health. Once again, you're making this from scratch. You have to flesh out everything. Everything needs to be thought of and created when you're creating your own game. So, just something to keep in mind, and my ammo system is still slightly broken. I would like to figure out why. Hmm. It's, it's, it is really close to being perfect. So close. But sometimes it just doesn't want to math properly. Anyways, so uh, that'll be all for this episode. You can crouch, sprint. We can do a lot of things now. Shoot, have multiple weapons. Shield, things that can hurt us. Different reload animations for different guns. We've And an AI even that looks at us um, properly and uh, isn't really just like a weird broken AI. Uh, he's got a little issues with him. He may be mentally retarded. Um, but that's just because I made him that way, and that's my fault. Uh, that's because his master and creator is mentally retarded, so that's good to know. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video and the content, and it helped you as much as you wanted it to help you, or more, then please leave a like. And you can even donate to my Patreon. That is a thing. It's down link down in the description to my Patreon. But uh, other than that, you can uh, donate to me through PayPal if uh, that's easier for you. Or you can just subscribe and just chill. Get updates about videos and cool stuff. Uh, game Minecraft survival modded survival series coming pretty soon-ish, um, hopefully. It'll, that'll be a pretty cool ongoing survival series, and it'll be fun. Um, so, yeah, you can stick around for that if that's something you're interested in. Um, but that's it for this episode so thank you for liking commenting and subscribing and i'll see you in the next one